Where's the Belgian at? Running around kicking up a storm. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're on the road right now. We're gonna go pick up not one, not two, but four surrenders. Uh, we got an emergency call this week. Uh, somebody who's just financially unable to care for these horses anymore. So we've got four horses to go get. I've got the trailer. Uh, I've got another helper coming with another trailer. So we're gonna have a little caravan going back to the rescue with all these horses. We don't really know that much about them. I know they haven't had too much health care. They don't have current Coggins. Big Belgian draft, uh, Mustang, uh, Thoroughbred, and a uh, quarter horse. A couple of them have papers, a couple of them don't. So we'll have to look up their details and see what's going on. They're all about 18, 19 years old apparently. Uh, like they need their teeth floated, need vaccines and stuff. So we'll get started on that. Come along with us, let's see how it goes. The process of picking up these surrenders actually went really smoothly. I've had it go most of the time I'm by myself picking up and either the owners are not helpful or they're not even there. Do you want to keep that halter that the Mustang has on and have me switch it out? You know what, I, I'm, I'm going to be down to one horse and donkey. Okay. Yeah. On the left in the halter is the Mustang. And on the right is a supposed thoroughbred. I did quickly check under her lip. She has some sort of tattoo, so we can investigate that. And the Mustang has a brand. Where's the Belgian at? And this big girl is a full 18 hands tall. She's skinnier than somehow is coming across in the camera. Uh, she needs a quite a bit of weight, and she has severe breathing problems. So we've got to get the vet and figure that out. She wasn't super handleable, um, but she was respectful enough anyways. Nope, nope, nope. Ma'am? No, ma'am. You know what we can do? We can just bring her on the grass, let her eat some grass. If you want. Yeah, let me open the gate. Okay. Yeah, please. Oh, we don't understand. Just said now she's being a little bit of a peel. Good girl. Hey, now who do you want with her? Not very happy. Really, none of them were inquisitive or what I would call typically friendly, where they're just coming up and investigating. <laughs> they all ran away, at least a little bit. You know, everybody's full. Yes. <coughs> I, I, tried, I tried selling them. I tried to make an offer. I turned away four already this year. Yes. And the woman surrendering these horses was very cooperative. She was fine with us even filming there. Hi, baby. running around kicking up a storm. <laughs> I know. Sure. This Mustang was super resistant to being caught. I'm assuming that's why she had a halter already on. But I did a lot of approach and retreat just like I've done with my Mustang straight out of the wild. 
I was able to get her to turn and face me and then just walk up, you know, slowly, non-threateningly, give her a little pet. And then I didn't even walk off right away once getting the lead rope on. I wanted her to know that she had some control of that situation. I wasn't just going to yank her around. Let me know in the comments if you think she might be pregnant. She's got a big old belly on her and it's she doesn't have equal weight on her top line. And um, the owner said she's not supposed to be pregnant, but it turns out she hasn't had these horses very long at all. So I think it could be a possibility. Good girl. In 400 feet, turn. Hey guys, we're back in the trailer now, heading back home to the rescue. Um, thankfully, they actually loaded up pretty good. I've got Kate here who's been helping me filming this morning. How did you think it went, Kate? I thought it went really well. For the most part, they were pretty calm loading. The Belgian was a little bit uh, antsy being on the trailer by herself. Um, she was moving around a little bit, but wasn't too bad. Um, and then the Mustang was a little bit slower to load, but she did pretty good too. Um, yeah, I there kind was no of like, fighting. Yeah, she wa she walked on and then she was like hesitant, and I was like, I'm just gonna give her a minute. I don't, you know, I don't want to pressure her in and then have her back out and it'd be a whole thing. So I'm like, just gonna give her a sec and then see if she'll cooperate. It was like when she she was like, okay, I got some space, and then yeah, she decided it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, and they're actually traveling decently well. It's always really annoying when a horse is moving around a lot and throwing their weight, um, especially big horses like that Belgian, but uh, they're actually riding pretty calmly and steadily, so it's making my job a lot easier. <laughs> so we've got about, we're about 25, 30 minutes um, back from the rescue, so we just gotta unload them. We're gonna let them hang out in the pasture uh, for the rest of the day, just kinda chill, and then we'll start to work, start getting them used to people getting handling again and get them on their journey to health. This time, Come on baby. Instead of coming back in. When we arrived back I went to move some horses really quick to make room for these guys and apparently the Mustang had got herself halfway off the trailer a couple times uh, and then shot back in and didn't really want to back out. She kept trying to turn around, but Amy's trailer with the dividers not really made for that. But Mustang decided she was going to do what she wanted to do. Is your trailer okay? Did she oh, yeah. knock she anything goes. loose? Okay. She said, I'm going to turn around. And I really love this stock trailer that we have because the horses can turn around in it if they really need to. It's quite wide, so if they are not used to backing off, they do have the room to kind of squish around. Even the Belgian had no trouble turning herself around. Okay. Of course, all the other horses at the rescue are excited every time we get new horses, especially the boys. When we get new mares, we tend to have more boys and more geldings.
And there they go. We've got all four of them into their field. It's a nice big three and a half, four acre field with grass, lots of resources for them to munch on. Everybody just kind of walked off really calm and slow. I, I thought they might be running around, but they're a little bit worn out from all the change. Still, it's always nice to see them just go off and explore in a nice big field where they can be comfortable. All right, guys, so now we've unloaded them. They're in their field. Looks like they're pretty happy and settled. Thankfully, they unloaded pretty decently. That's Amy over there. She came with the other trailer and helped us out. I can only carry two horses, so big thanks to Amy for coming. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for updates on them as we get them healthy and get them more trained. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video. And we'll see you in the next one.